Welcome back to another installment of a how-to guide. Today we will be discussing Lumia Stream, which is how I control my light. If you've been to my channel before on Twitch, you'll notice that we have chat commands that change the colors, as well as lights that change on different alerts, such as follows and subscribers. For this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to use Philips Hue with Lumia Stream. Let's get into it. LumiaStream.com has a wonderful website that outlines how to get it and what integrations they are currently compatible with. Now I will say that LumiaStream is constantly adding new lights that are compatible. It also lists a number of different features for both the free version and the paid version. Now once you have the LumiaStream app downloaded, they have this amazing tool that will bring you through every step of LumiaStream's application. Once you have the app downloaded, You'll go to Settings and Connections, and this is the most important part. You will then ensure that you enable your Twitch. You will go to Platform and choose whether Streamlabs or Stream Elements, and then you will authorize. It will open up a separate window that will bring you to your Streamlabs or to your Stream Elements where you connect with your Twitch and authorize Lumia Stream. You will then be directed back to Lumia Stream. As you will now notice, Stream Elements is listed next to my Twitch. You will always be able to tell what is connected by looking at the bottom of your application. You will go back into connections and now it's time to, to connect your lights. For me, I'm using Philips Hue, but these are the other lights that are currently supported. For Philips Hue users, you'll click on Hue and hit next. You will then go to your Hue bridge and press and hold the Hue button. It takes about five to seven seconds and you will get this screen. Once on this screen, you simply select whatever lights are currently used in your stream. And now you'll see that the internet, Twitch, Stream Elements, and Hue are all in working order. The next part is to set up your lights. So you have some default lights. This default light will be whatever light turns on when you initially turn on Lumia Stream. Studio allows you to correct, create different scenes, reactions, and hypes. I'm not going to go much into the studio part since you have the school overview that is embedded within Lumia Stream's website and I don't want to insult your intelligence. I will point out that if you go to chat and colors you can select the different colors that may be utilized in your chat. If you go to general you can also specify what needs to be typed before that color to make that color appear. Studio reactions allow you to select chat reactions. You must create everything within your studio to have it transfer over to chat commands. Now as you can see, I have an America command here. Just a simple red, white, and blue that I've set for four seconds. Now if I move down to chat reactions, all I have to do is type the command and select the appropriate re You can then decide what viewers are allowed to use, whether it's everyone, followers, your regular subscribers, or mod. Within alerts, you can decide with your Twitch follows what type, whether a reaction, animation, hype, scene, or theme, and then which animation you want to use. You can also do this for your subscribers, bits, hosts, raids, and for myself, I use Stream Elements for donation and redemptions. You can also set hotkeys so that you can enable them with the push of a button. While we discuss this next part, I will have different commands playing in the background. Overall, Lumia Stream is incredibly immersive, and you can do a lot of things that even I haven't figured out yet. This was just intended to be an overview of Lumia Stream and not an in-depth guide. However, if you would like an in-depth guide, please leave a comment down below. And like I mentioned before, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, link in the description below. And if you like this YouTube video and want more content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Until next time, have fun gaming.